So tell us a little bit about this expo. What gave you the idea for this? Was it that near-death experience? It was um, a couple of things. Well, thank you so much for having me on. I was inspired by two different things that I experienced on this entrepreneurial journey. One was uh, during my time speaking. I am a public speaker and I was speaking a lot to a lot of different women's organizations. And I just saw this big disconnect between women. I would speak to 100 women in PR, 50 women part of this organization. And they all were doing amazing things, but nobody knew each other. And in order to grow and create a successful business, you need to get out there. And you need so, to know them. Yes. So uh, at WEX, you can find a graphic designer, a lawyer, an accountant, and really network with such a diverse group of women. And then the other part that inspired me was from my near-death experience. Um, so when I was a senior in, at the University of Florida, I got sick all of a sudden. I was this ha happy, you know, healthy-go-lucky 21-year-old, and my body went into septic shock. I was given a 1% chance of living. They took my mom, I remember, out of the uh, hospital of the room I was in and said, call your family. She has 24 hours to oh, live. God. And I was in a coma for six days and in the ICU for a total of 10. And this completely changed my life. I was ready to like go and pursue my dreams and I ended up getting sick again six months later with um, being diagnosed with an autoimmune disease. And through this journey, I w uh, started sharing my story and I wanted to speak and I thought I could inspire people, but I have an autoimmune disease, which is a chronic illness, and it comes and goes. And there was a period of eight months where I was too sick to even walk my dog. And I say this so people can grasp, like, I was so isolated from everyone, and I couldn't be a speaker because I couldn't leave my apartment. So I started sharing on social media, and I was sharing vulnerably and authentically. And I think that I believe that the world's starving for authentic leaders and so people really were able to relate to that saying you know I'm still pursuing my dreams but you know my life's not perfect and that inspired me to take this online community offline with WEX. And we just heard this morning uh, well People Magazine uh, you know Mariah Carey coming out and, and saying that she's been struggling with bipolar disorder and, and, and kind of going to this you know talking about yourself in a in a way that shows your vulnerabilities, shows that you're not perfect. But why do you think this is resonating right now? It's resonating right now because people can see right through everyone with like putting stuff out on social media and what's going on. And, and I think everyone is just sick and tired of the way things were. And so we're ready for a new wave of leadership. And that leadership is authentic leaders. And with that, uh, it's about not being that expert or that person that's giving advice saying, hey, here's what I went through and now here's three ways to be happy and um, everything's uphill from here. That's not true. In any career or any you know, life that you live, there's always going to be ups and downs and you need to know how to push through. And having that bravery to step forward and say, this is what I'm going through now it's very vulnerable because it's easy to talk about the past, but when it's so personal to you, but that's what people relate to because they're, they may be going through something you know, similar with the different feelings and, and it, it really touches uh, your heart. Right, we had a very amazing conversation with Kat Sadler on Monday, the former E! News host who left her gig uh, because of, of pay discrepancies. And she said, I, you know, she thought about, she, she thought about maybe leaving a long time ago, but literally the Me Too Time's Up movement gave her this launching pad to really accelerate this and have this discussion. Because of this movement, are you seeing more women talking about this and taking more of an initiative because of the movement that's been happening right now? Oh, 100%. I started Woman Empower Expo in 2016, and then the Me Too movement came out and Time's Up came out. And it's incredible what the collective force can do. I always say alone, I can only do so much, but together we can make a real impact. And with the Me Too movement and the Time's Up movement, I believe that in order for real change to occur, you have to have two different groups of people come up and step up and speak out. And so with Me Too and Time's Up, it's people being brave enough to share what they've been through, what they're going through, and really talk about the problem. Because when we really showcase the problem, even like yesterday, equal pay day, uh, most of the posts on social media, most of the discussion was talking about what's wrong. 
you know, the, the gap and the, that disparity. And so I believe that you need to have that group of people in order to really show what is the problem and what we need to solve. And then there's the other group of people that we need, which are the ones that take the action. And how are you pushing the uh, needle forward? And so that's what I hope Women in Power Expo is. I always say, me too, time's up, now what? Mm -hmm. And so we're really trying to empower female entrepreneurs to turn their ideas into reality and focus on what is good and what is right so then you can feel motivated to keep going. Yeah, Expo what is what's happening is what's what is next. <laughs> yeah. All right, Alexa Carlin, founder of Women in Power Expo. Thanks so much for joining Thank us. Thank you so pleasure. much.